I'm Bridgette from the Orpington Congregation. I'm wondering what the word test evokes for you. Fear? Challenge? Hard work? There are many stories in the Bible of tests of character and we're told that trials and tests to grow us in Christ are to be expected in this life and to take courage from our faith in the midst of them, even to consider them joy. Since our attitude to tests is important, hopefully today we can learn something from Abraham. Our passage begins, some time later, God tested Abraham. If we use the dictionary definition of test, this would read, God took measures to check the quality, performance or reliability of Abraham. And boy, did Abraham pass the test. He shows that he is a man who has developed spiritual muscle through his previous trials, in which he didn't always do so well. He's come a long way from trying to manipulate circumstances through his fear and unbelief. Firstly, he's learnt to recognise God's voice. He hears God call his name twice in this passage and meekly replies, Here I am. This is the mark of a man who is yoked to his God and responsive to his voice. Secondly, he's learnt humility and obedience through the mistakes and the things he suffered. His attitude is now similar to Jesus, who humbled himself and became obedient to the cross. With unquestioning obedience, he sets out on a three-day journey to sacrifice his son. Thirdly, he's learnt to trust and have faith that God is the God of the impossible. Hebrews 11 verse 19 tells us Abraham reasoned that God could raise the dead. I'd have loved to know what was going through his mind on that journey. What are you up to, God? Have I heard you right? Am I crazy? Surely not. But I've seen you do the impossible in giving me this son, so surely you can raise him from the dead. He even speaks out his faith in verse 5, telling his servants, we will come back to you, confident he will return from the sacrifice for it with his son. Do we speak faith in our trials? I also wonder what was going through Isaac's mind. What's dad up to now? He said God will provide a lamb, but he's tying me to the altar. And now he's raising a knife? I guess Isaac felt pretty safe with his dad. He would have known he was a miracle child and even though he would have been stronger than his dad, he submitted to him and allowed him to be himself to be bound to the altar. How great to trust your dad that much. This speaks of great security in a father's love. Abraham with his heavenly father and Isaac with his earthly father. How secure are we in our heavenly father's love when our tests come? Because we know the bigger picture, we understand this passage as a prophetic echo of what is to come when Father God gives his only son as a sacrifice for our sins. And we know that he provides a ram for Abraham's sacrifice. Our father didn't want Isaac to die, but Abraham to sacrifice Isaac in his heart. So it would be clear that he loved God more than his son. So take heart. If, like me, you're in the middle of a test, Father God loves us and wants to grow Christ in us.